You see, you're looking out there for an answer, mm -hmm. and I'm looking at you as the answer. <laughs> you're looking out there for an answer. Yes, you're saying, but the seeing sometimes is blurred and saying, and I'm knowing that whatever you're wanting to see that gets blurred is not it. You who is witnessing blurred and focus, you're it. This is the thing. And this is the twist of consciousness that each one needs to experience. We're wasting a lot of time because the, the classical way of knowing something is to know like one thing knowing another thing. And I'm telling you, no, no, no. This is not two things. It's not even one thing. Are you confused by this? No. Are you? No. Yes, you are. <laughs> when we now, I can say, drop everything, you know, because it's appropriate time. Say, so drop all these ideas. Drop, 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 drop. There is never going to. We are never going to be experientially one while you retain the idea of yourself as a person. Because every person is conditioned. Every person belongs to some party, some religion, some philosophical group, some political group, some kind of uh, social group, some identity you are wearing. And every identity fights to retain its own perspective. Okay, We are never, ever, ever going to agree while you are in the state of personhood. This is what is radical. I'm going to bring you the message of Ramana Maharshi. I'm going to bring you the message of Shankara, which is not only just a message. I am their message right now. And I'm not afraid to say that. And that is not pride. I don't say it as pride. But someone has to have the courage to say. Because somebody asked me, what is your master's highest teaching? I said, I am my master's highest teaching. I have to say it. It sounds arrogant, but it's not arrogance. Because I have the courage to say what I am. Okay? So I have to say this on your behalf. Because you are, because you are afraid to say it. You know? And it's not, okay, because you say it, you are it. It's not that. It has to be experienced. And I wait on you too long. You're too slow. You're so apologetic. And so I have to say sometimes, I am that on behalf of you to give you courage to, to say that there's an appropriate time to admit and it is not blasphemy, it is not arrogance to say. Thank you. you understand? We are not going to reach this as one human uh, Family, while we keep on believing, and you're loyal, you're loyal to your to your group, because it will teach you you're a Muslim, you're a Christian, you're a Hindu. We can never meet, even those who are the most the most what you may call liberal in any group, they still cannot meet. I've met groups sometimes who are the most liberal within the group, and there's some watered down version of the group. It has to be a living truth. And the only way you are going to come to this living truth, you have to be like the cow that jumped over the moon. And this moon is your mind. You have to jump over it. And as long as you stay as this person, you're going to argue like the person. You're going to defend like the person. And I'm showing you the most beautiful way. The most beautiful way is the way of being. You have to come out of that. I show you. I show you. I don't say go. I say come. Look with me and prove with me your original self. It is not a fantasy. It is not a spiritual fantasy. It is not escapism. It is the most real. Everything else in this planet will vanish except what I'm speaking with you, the truth of it. And I'm only trying to tell you that you have to be cured of this mistake you're making in holding on to this identity that you're merely flesh and blood. You are that too, but you are not that mostly. We, it's time to grow up. Don't just grow old. Grow up and look with the eyes I am looking at. When I see you, I see the self. When you speak, you are not speaking as a self. 
You're speaking as some, some, something that is born of time that in a few seasons will not be here. So take courage and, and listen with your heart when I tell you. Follow my pointings because what I say now with such conviction, you yourself will be able to speak with the authority of your own experience. I'm not asking you to believe. Believe, trust, this is okay, but it must be proven. And I'm telling you, I'm here to prove it to you. And prove it as you. And you hold back stingily when you say you want to realize the most important thing in the world, but you offer so little of yourself. You must have the courage to stand up and to say, I'm here for this, Muji, all the way. I'm here. I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, like that. You see? Because the whole world is looking at you and saying, if they can be here, listen to him face to face, and they're hanging back like, like frightened children or something, and I'm saying, look, follow and see, because I'm not throwing magic powder in your face, I'm speaking with you in very simple language. And still, I don't get the response that I think, you know, you should be so happy that in this age, you stand a chance of really being free of all this bullshit. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. Okay, so we can sit down now again and we get on. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. It, it, it is a, a marvelous thing because in our age, we, we, this, this teaching is still alive. It is not ever going to grow old. And generations after we are gone from this place physically, uh, beings yet unborn will come and learn through this what I'm speaking today. You know, some of, some of the greatest disciples of Jesus Christ was not necessarily the twelve disciples who walked with him. Maybe his greatest disciple is yet unborn. You don't have to be physically there, but you must have a heart that has power of trust and love and follow the, the words. Just like this. You are not being given 17 steps to freedom. It is simple, I point simple to you. That if you keep arguing on the base of your person, you will make small steps. These small steps, they are okay, it is okay. But you behave as though you have a trillion lives ahead of you to do this. I said, today you can see something from here. Look with the eyes of consciousness. You are already that. You don't have to go out and find any tools for that. You are already here. No? It is a blessed time. And things are such in, in our world at this moment, that I feel we should feel compelled, even for your children's sake. But for your sake first, you must find it. I looked in the aeroplane, sometimes we are flying, and they are telling you, they are showing you the procedure, if you have an emergency, what they say to do. They say, when if there is losing pressure, they bring these things, these masks down. What did they say? They say, put yours on first, and then put them on your children. You know? Put them on first, because if you miss your chance to put yours on, they, will go, they are gone. Put yours on first. Save your life first. It is not selfish. If you see beings drowning in the ocean of samsara, and you feel compassion, you want to save them, and you are running out, it's come to me, come to me, and you can't swim. So you must find the truth. And it is presenting itself also for you. It's a simple pointing. Many have come and spoken these things, different things. But it is seen so brightly now that it is offered to us as a gift to human beings to look in this simple way, to look with universal eyes. Who can look with universal eyes? You don't have to get rid of your conditioning, but you can go beyond them. And I say go beyond, not beyond that way, but beyond this way. 
come back into the very core, from where seeing and the functioning of perception itself is perceived. And all of you know, you know this. Stand in this place, be one there. Don't create, don't pick up any new thoughts. Stand and confirm that you are here and you are the seeing of this place. You see, how beautiful, how grateful we should be as human beings that the teachings which has been conceived for so many years as being you know super high and difficult and will take lifetimes is presented to you as baby food yes. because we are not uh, as time has gone on we have not we are not beings who have you know long attention spans anymore then uh, the lord of the universe has presented a new a simple way look like this and it is the most beautiful way also. Because uh, when you have awakened to the truth, you see, you're not just awake as a Christian or a Muslim or as a Hindu, you're awake as being. And that is universal. This is what I'm trying to tell you. And there are beings in other countries watching now in different groups. They are probably even more present with this than you. Because they know it, they, they, they hunger and they thirst for it. So this is why I put it to you this way, because I cannot rub your shoulders with delusions. But look, because you have the power in you. Don't let anyone tell you you don't have the power to discover the highest. Smaller things you may not have the power to do, because this may not belong to you, but to everyone they are the Self. At some point, it will ignite your interest to search for this. You see, you have come. I don't know where many of you come from, but I know from all over the world is in this room. You see, because it is a universal voice that call you. And I only remind you that you have the capacity, and the power, all that you need to go through and to live a life that is so fickle, when it's lived only through the mind and just through traditions and habits, and come back into a life of deep, intuitive spontaneity and freshness. This is all I am trying to point to you. You see? Thank you. And so thank you. I say, you say thank you, and I say thanks to the Lord of the Universe, and to Sri Shankara, and Sri Ramana Maharishi and uh, Sri Punjaji and um, Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj, Sri Yogi Ramasurat Kumar, Sri Ananda Maima, all these beings who came and beings who came in our time also to, to remind the human. It perhaps will never take on evangelical proportions, I don't know. It's too radically simple. And uh, the truth is simple, but the seekers of truth are complex. And we always are attached to our complexity. We are tripping over ourselves all the time, because we are not still enough to see that we don't have to do so much, but keep quiet and look with the guidance that has been given to you, and find the truth that you, your heart longs for so much. I'm not speaking poetry to you. You see? Love you. I love you too. Love you, love you. Very good.